In this lecture, I'm going to solve this question. A small market orders copies of a certain magazine for its magazine rack each week. Let X is equal to demand for the magazine with the following probability mass function. Suppose the store owner actually pays $2 for each copy of the magazine and the price to the customers is $4. If magazines left at the end of the week have no salvage value, is it better to order three or four copies of the magazine? So we are given in the question that X is the demand for the magazine and the cost for each copy of the magazine is $2 and the price to customers is $4. And we have to find whether is it better to order three or four copies of the magazine. We know that the producer of a good or you can say in this case the store owner is only concerned about the profit or the net revenue that he is going to have. So to decide whether to buy three copies or four copies of the magazine, he is going to look at the net revenue that he is going to generate and accordingly he will take a decision. Now the catch is that we don't exactly know the demand for the magazine. We do have a probability mass function for that but we don't have any kind of exact value. For example, we don't know that the demand is going to be 2 or 3, we just have probabilities. So because in this case we don't know the exact demand that the store owner is going to face, so we cannot calculate the exact net revenue when he purchases 3 or 4 copies. What we can calculate is the expected net revenue when he purchases 3 copies or 4 copies. And accordingly we can tell whether he should purchase 3 copies of the magazine or 4 copies of the magazine depending on which value is greater. Let's take it step by step. So first of all, we will calculate the expected net revenue that the store owner would have if he orders three copies of the magazine. And then we will calculate the expected net revenue that the store owner would have if he orders four copies of the magazines. And once we have these two values, we can simply compare them to see which one is greater. Okay, and that would give us the answer. So let us first calculate the expected net revenue that the store owner would have if he orders three copies. So expected net revenue in case of three copies. Okay. So now if the store owner orders three copies, so there could be two cases. The first case could be that the demand for the magazine is less than 3. So in this case, the store owner will not be able to sell all the copies. And the second case could be that the demand for the magazine is greater than or equal to 3. So in this case, he will be able to sell all the copies. Now, in the first case where X, that is the demand for magazine, is less than 3, what would be the net revenue for this case? I mean, what would be the net revenue function here? So let's calculate it. Let's find the net revenue function for both of these cases. So for example, let's say that here X is equal to one. Okay. Just let's assume it. So in this case, what would be the net revenue of the store owner? So in this case where X is equal to one, he will be able to sell only one copy. So that means his revenue would be $4 multiplied by one because $4 is the price that he charges. And we are given in the question that there is no salvage value. So the magazines that the store owner is not able to sell, he won't get anything for those magazines. So $0 for two magazines, right? The remaining two as he bought three minus his costing. So he bought three magazines at the rate of $2 per magazine. So $2 multiplied by three. So this is equal to four minus six. And this is equal to minus 2. Similarly, we can calculate for x equal to 2 as well, but we don't have to solve it step by step. We can just generalize it. So our general net revenue function would look something like this. It would be 4x minus 6. Because here we did 4 multiplied by the demand for magazine. This was the demand for magazine. This term is not of any use, so we can just completely skip this term. And this term is constant because the store owner is buying three magazines, so the cost will remain the same. So it is six. So the net revenue function for this case would be 4x minus six. Now let's see what is the net revenue function when 
x is greater than or equal to 3. So when x is greater than or equal to 3, that means the store owner will be able to sell all the magazines. So for example, if the x is equal to 3, then in that case, it is equal to 4 multiplied by 3 because he will be selling all the three magazines at the price of $4 per magazine minus his cost. So it is equal to 2 multiplied by 3, $2 multiplied by 3. And this is equal to 12 minus 6. Now, even if the value of X is equal to 4, he won't be able to sell more than three magazines because that's what he has bought. So even in that case, the net revenue will be equal to 6. So for all the values of X greater than or equal to 3, the net revenue of the store owner will be equal to 6. So the net revenue function that we could write is this. So let's write a net revenue function. Let's denote it by H3 because it is for three copies and it is a function of X. So let's denote it this way. It is equal to 4X minus 6 when X is less than 3 and 6 when X is greater than or equal to 3. So I hope you are clear with this thing. I've just found the net revenue function. This is how it is related. So this is the net revenue function that we have got when the store owner purchases three copies. Now let's find the expected net revenue in this case. So let's find the expectation of this H3X. Well, this would be equal to summation H, which is a function of X multiplied by probability of X, right? And this we can write is equal to H1 multiplied by P1 plus H2. I'm just opening the brackets. I'm just opening the summation multiplied by P2 plus H3 multiplied by P3 plus H4 multiplied by P4 plus H5 multiplied by P5 and plus H6 multiplied by P6. Now it's quite simple to solve. So the H1, okay, is equal to 4 multiplied by 1 minus 6 because we are putting X equal to 1. So H1 is equal to 4 multiplied by 1 minus 6. And the what is the probability that we will have X equal to 1? Well, this is given to us in the question. It is given that the probability that X is equal to 1 is 1 by 15. So we can write 1 by 15 here plus h of 2 is 4 multiplied by 2 minus 6 and the probability here is 2 by 15. This is given to us in the question. h of 3 is 4 multiplied by 3 minus 6. The probability associated is 3 by 15 plus h of 4 is 6. 6 multiplied by p4. p4 we are given in the question is 4 by 15 plus once again h5 is 6. We are given in the question that P5 is 3 by 15 plus 6 multiplied by 2 by 15. So this is the expression that we have got and solving this we will get 4.93. 4.93. So this is the expected net revenue when the store owner orders 3 copies of the magazine. Now let us calculate the expected net revenue when the store owner orders four copies of the magazine and we know that that function will be a function of X. So let's say we have to calculate this H4X. This is how I'm denoting the expected net revenue. Okay, so this is the notation that I'm using. Expected net revenue when the store owner orders four copies of the magazine. So when the store owner orders four copies of the magazine, once again, there could be two cases. First case is when the demand is less than 4. So in this case, the store owner will not be able to sell all the copies purchased. And the second case is when the demand is greater than or equal to 4. So in this case, he will be able to sell all the copies that he has purchased. So when X is less than 4, say when X is equal to 1, what will be the net revenue of the store owner? Well, in this case, as he will be able to sell only one copy of the magazine, so it will be equal to 4 multiplied by 1 plus there is no salvage value for the magazines that he's not able to sell. So zero multiplied by four minus one. These are the number of magazines he's left with three magazines. 
minus his cost. His cost is two multiplied by four. So two dollars multiplied by four as he's purchasing four magazines. So this term is of no use to us. So we can just directly ignore this term. And if we generalize this, if we generalize this expression, we will get four X minus eight. Because this cost that is two multiplied by four is same irrespective of whether X is equal to one, two, three or whatever. So it is equal to four X minus eight. So this is the revenue function when X is less than four. Let's now talk about the case when X is greater than or equal to four. Well, in this case, he will be able to sell all his copies. So let's talk about the case when X is equal to four. So in this case, the net revenue is equal to four multiplied by four because the price is four minus two multiplied by four. Okay, so in this case, the revenue is equal to 16 minus eight and this is equal to eight. And irrespective of whether X is equal to five or six, the net revenue in this case will be equal to eight only. Okay, so we can summarize this and we can write this in a tabular form like this. So we can write that the expected net revenue function, which is H4X is equal to 4X minus eight when X is less than four and is equal to eight when X is greater than or equal to four. Now let's find the expected value of this function, this net revenue function. So expected value of H four X. So this is equal to summation H X multiplied by P X, right? And we can write this equal to H one multiplied by P one plus H two multiplied by P two and so on till H six multiplied by P six and H one is equal to four multiplied by one minus eight, right? Four multiplied by one minus eight and probability that X is equal to one is given in the equation. It is equal to one by 15 plus H two is equal to four multiplied by two minus eight and the probability that X is equal to two is two by 15 plus H three is four multiplied by three minus eight. The corresponding probability is three by 15 plus H four is equal to eight, right? Is equal to eight and the corresponding probability is four by 15 plus H five is also equal to eight and the corresponding probability is three by 15 plus H six is also equal to eight and the corresponding probability is two by 15. And solving this, we will get 5.33. So the expected net revenue when the store owner purchases four copies of the magazine is 5.33 and we calculated that the expected net revenue when the store owner purchases three copies of the magazines is equal to 4.93. So this expected revenue that is the expected revenue when the store owner purchases four copies of the magazines is greater than this expected revenue. And so this implies that it is better for the store owner to purchase four copies of the magazine.